Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com. And in this training video, I will teach you how to pass a heating, ventilation and air conditioning technician interview. If you are applying to become an HVAC technician or engineer with any company or organization, make sure you stay tuned because the tips, questions and sample answers I am about to give you will definitely help you pass your interview at the first attempt. And to achieve that goal, I will cover the following four things in this video. Number one, I will tell you which HVAC interview questions you must prepare for. These questions feature often during HVAC technician and HVAC engineer interviews. Number two, I will give you two brilliant tips for giving a top scoring answer to each of those interview questions. Number three, I will then give you a brilliant example answer to each HVAC technician interview question so you beat the competition. And then finally, number four, I will tell you where you can instantly download my 22 brilliant answers to difficult HVAC technician interview questions. And just very quickly, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Thousands of you, and I mean thousands of you, are passing your job interviews at the first attempt. I can only help you if you are subscribed. And please hit the like button because that motivates me to create more brilliant content for you. Thank you very much indeed. Now, the first question you will have to answer is going to be, tell me about yourself. Let me give you two brilliant tips for giving a top scoring answer. Tip number one. So this is going to be the first question you will have to answer at your HVAC technician or engineer interview. Now, I strongly recommend you practice your answer several times because that will help to demonstrate confidence in your abilities and also, more importantly, good communication skills. So to be competent as an HVAC technician, you must be a good communicator. Tip number two. Now, in your answer, I recommend you talk about the following four things. Write these down. Number one, the skills you have that match the HVAC job description. Number two, your educational qualifications and also the experience you can bring to the company. Number three, details of any achievements you have gained in your life so far and also what you will do in the role. And then finally, number four, the type of person you are. Now, you will notice that those things stand for SEAT, S-E-A-T, skills, education and experience, achievements and the type of person you are. This is a brilliant structure to use, my SEAT structure, for answering the question, tell me about yourself. And you can remember this structure because you will be sitting down on a seat at your HVAC technician interview. So here is a brilliant example response that will help you beat the competition at your HVAC interview. Here we go. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for the opportunity to apply for this HVAC position with your company. I am a diligent, competent, fast working HVAC technician with the skills to meet the role's demands. I have a thorough understanding of HVAC systems, can easily read and interpret blueprints and schematics and safety is always at the forefront of any task or project I undertake. I have X years of experience in the HVAC industry. I have often worked alongside other HVAC engineers and technicians, collaborated with tradespeople and contractors, and have experienced troubleshooting problems and technical issues. I have a track record of achievement. In my last job, the company owner praised me for my flexibility with my working hours to ensure projects were completed on time. I also suggested the company offer smart thermostats as part of their service to clients, which helped reduce clients' HVAC-related expenses by 25%. If you hire me, I will be a good company role model while dealing with customers and clients. 
demonstrate excellent safety awareness in my work, adhere to all relevant rules and procedures, and ensure my technical knowledge is regularly updated in line with industry standards. And I look forward to sharing additional details regarding my suitability for this position in the interview. That is a really good, confident answer that will help get your HVAC interview off to a positive start. And you can see how effective my seat structure is for tell me about yourself. So you can use that example answer to create your own before your HVAC technician interview. Here is the next question. Why do you want to be an HVAC technician? Tip number one. Now, it takes, as you know, a unique set of skills and qualities to be a competent HVAC technician or engineer. And this common question assesses your motivations for choosing this career. Tip number two. Good things to include in your answer are the job variety, because no two days are ever the same. The fact that you enjoy the combination of technical practical and hands-on work, and also the job security because competent and proficient HVAC technicians will always be in demand. So let's put everything together in my top scoring example answer. Why do you want to be an HVAC technician? Here we go. I want to be an HVAC technician because I enjoy technical and practical hands-on work and I enjoy being involved in projects from design to installation. No two days are ever the same as an HVAC technician and the role not only tests my technical skills and competence but there is good earning potential and I get to work in various settings. Finally, I find the job security appealing. HVAC technicians who are highly competent, flexible and hardworking will always be in demand, which gives me the job security I need to support my family. So that is a really good answer. And you can see how these responses are going to help you pass your HVAC technician interview at the first attempt. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions, tips and answers to give you. But when you are ready... Click the link in the top right hand corner of the video, head straight through to my website passmyinterview.com and you can instantly download these slides plus my full set of 22 HVAC technician interview questions and top scoring example answers. But here is the next question I strongly recommend you prepare for. What are the essential skills and qualities needed to be an HVAC technician? Tip number one. Now, this next question will feature during your interview, so make sure you have an answer prepared that matches the essential criteria listed on the job description. If you want to increase your chances of passing your HVAC technician interview, make sure you read the job description before your interview. And tip number two, good skills to include in your answer are safety awareness and the ability to follow strict rules and procedures, in-depth knowledge of how HVAC systems work, and also soft skills, including time management and flexibility and adaptability. So here is another brilliant, unique example answer to help you. What are the essential skills and qualities needed to be an HVAC technician? Here we go. You need diverse technical and soft skills to maintain competency in your work as an HVAC technician. Safety awareness, the ability to adhere to strict rules and procedures, and a fundamental grasp of how heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems work is crucial. You need electrical knowledge because HVAC systems often include electrical components requiring technicians to understand electrical principles. A natural knack for understanding how things work mechanically is invaluable, as is the ability to read and interpret blueprints and installation plans. You also need troubleshooting skills and tool proficiency. Soft skills include customer service and effective communication, especially when discussing plans with clients and collaborating with stakeholders, tradespeople and contractors. 
Time management is also vital for ensuring your work is completed as promised and adaptability because the HVAC field is constantly evolving, requiring you to adapt to new technologies. And finally, you need good attention to detail, physical stamina, strength and commercial awareness to help your employer be profitable. So that's a really good answer. Can you imagine giving that level of response at your HVAC technician interview? It tells the interviewer that you have a thorough understanding of the skills and qualities needed to maintain competency in your work. Here is the next question. Can you explain how an HVAC system works? Tip number one. Now, if you answer this next common HVAC technician interview question incorrectly, you will definitely not get hired. So the question is assessing the following three things. Number one, technical knowledge. Number two, communication skills. And number three, your ability to explain complex concepts in simple terms. So here is a brilliant example answer. Can you explain how an HVAC system works? An HVAC system, which stands for heating, ventilation and air conditioning, is designed to regulate indoor temperature, humidity and air quality to create a comfortable and safe environment. First, the heating component, often a furnace or a heat pump, warms up the air using gas, electricity or even geothermal energy. In a furnace, a heat exchanger warms the air, while in a heat pump, heat is transferred from outside to inside. Next, the ventilation system ensures fresh air circulation by removing stale air and filtering out dust, allergens and pollutants. This includes ductwork, vents and air filters that help distribute clean air throughout the building. Finally, the air conditioning process works by absorbing heat from indoor air using refrigerant, which then circulates through coils and releases the heat outside. This keeps the indoor environment cool, especially in hot weather. Now, all these components work together, controlled by a thermostat, to maintain a consistent and comfortable indoor climate. A well-maintained HVAC system not only keeps people comfortable, but also improves energy efficiency and air quality. So that level of answer tells the interviewer you have a thorough understanding of the technical requirements of how an HVAC system works, but it also tells them you have good communication skills. Now, this next question features often in HVAC technician interviews. How do you communicate with customers who do not have the same technical knowledge as you? Tip number one. So this next difficult HVAC technician interview question is again clearly assessing your communication skills, so make sure you have a confident answer prepared. And tip number two, in your response, talk about the following things. Listening carefully to the customer or client to establish their HVAC requirements or the problem that needs rectifying, asking them relevant questions to clarify the issue, and then giving relatable explanations so that the customer understands so let's put everything together in another brilliant example answer. How do you communicate with customers or clients who do not have the same technical knowledge as you? Here we go. I always make sure to keep things simple and clear when speaking with customers or clients because HVAC systems can be quite technical and not everyone understands the jargon. First, I listen carefully to their concerns and ask the right questions to understand the problem from their perspective. Then, instead of using complicated terms, I explain the issue in a way that's easy to grasp using everyday comparisons. For example, if there's a refrigerant leak, I might say, think of it like a car with low oil. The system has to work harder and won't run efficiently. I also like to show rather than just tell. I point out components and use visual aids like diagrams or a thermostat display to help them understand. I always give clear recommendations and explain how they can maintain their system to avoid future problems. Finally, 
I will give the customer my work number so they can contact me at any time if they have any questions regarding their system. So that's another brilliant example answer that will help you impress at your HVAC technician interview. Now, we have just covered those five questions, but there are more questions I want to help you answer. Here they are. The next question is, what are your strengths and weaknesses? What are you looking for in your next job? Question eight, what are the different types of HVAC systems and how do they differ? Question nine, what is the refrigeration cycle and can you describe its components? What is superheat and subcooling and why are they important? Question 11, how do you diagnose and troubleshoot a refrigerant leak? Question 12, what are the common causes of compressor failure? Question 13, what safety procedures do you follow when working with HVAC systems? 14, how do you calculate the correct load for an HVAC system? 15 is, what type of refrigerants have you worked with and what are the EPA regulations regarding them? Question 16, what steps do you take to stay updated on the latest HVAC technologies and industry regulations? Number 17, tell me about a time when you worked as part of a team to complete an HVAC installation or repair. Question 18, can you explain the process of retrofitting an older HVAC system with new technology? Question 19, what steps do you take to ensure energy efficiency in an HVAC system? Question 20, why should we hire you? Question 21, what are your salary expectations? And 22 is, that's the end of your HVAC technician interview. Do you have any questions for us? Now, if you want answers to all 22 questions, click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video. Head straight through to my website, passmainterview.com, and you can instantly download the answers I just gave you, plus the full set of 22 brilliant responses to common but difficult HVAC technician or engineer interview questions. Click the link right now to download the guide. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please give the video a thumbs up and also make sure you connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It is always an absolute honor and a pleasure to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you for watching and I wish you the very best for passing your HVAC interview. Have a wonderful day.